and I bought this app which is like five dollars or something like that and I just want to say what a great port it is from the actual physical game to this um, it's very very similar to the uh, actual game um, just a lot of fun so you've got a nice little tutor built in here I know when the game was first released there were some problems with the um, slow down towards the end of the game but I think that's all been fixed it does a great job of displaying the um, the text of the cards um, as you play you'll see the cards come up shows what the event is that happens a little bit of historical information and how it affects the game here um, so you just touch the card up there and it's really important if you're going to play the game you got to read these cards just to see the um, the impact of the card and how it's going to change what's happening here so you've got your three factions down to the right here. You've got the Republic, which is basically the person that you're representing, or Napoleon and his armies. You've got despotism and monarchy, and you want to make sure that the um, Republic is higher uh, just because it makes it a little uh, better on your DRMs or your die roll modifiers. Um, so on the top left here you'll see action points and you get to spend those action points in different ways you can try to change the priorities here you can try to defend armies who are advancing up against you because of the cards and their their, uh, their events and uh, you can try to put out fires in Paris and, and that's pretty much it there might be something else but I can't remember so I'm going to turn off the tutorial And we're going to go ahead and play a little bit. So I'm going to try to get the Republic up. I rolled a 1, which is a fail. Rolled a 5, which became a 6, uh, because of the card. And again, look back at the card. I get plus 1 to the Republic. And we're out of actions now. So we're going to do our next turn. So the great fear of rumors of anarchy in Paris leads to riots throughout the summer, armed gangs. Uh, so we've got minus one to our military attacks. The Vendi are going to advance, which is this group down here. Uh, the Monarchy is minus one, Despotism minus one, Republic minus one, and there's going to be disorder in Paris. So we've got two actions. We're going to put this fire out, hopefully. Yep, and we did that. And we're going to, um, we've got minus two on our military here, so there's no real point and fighting the Vin D just right now. Let's get the Republic up a bit. Got it up one. And let's put the Monarchy down because some cards by their nature will move this Monarchy down or move this Republic up. So if you max out the Republic you can basically waste um, points just because um, if you get a plus one for free and you're at plus one it won't have any effect on it. We're out of action points. Seizure Toulon. So we've got Britain, Britain advancing, Piedmont advancing, Vindy going back, which is good, and Despotism minus one and plus one to the Republic. So that's going to help us too. Oops. So let's get this Republic up here. We've got no die roll modifiers at the moment. We're at a three. So now we've got a plus one to the die roll modifier. And we're going to fight this guy with one of our actions. He runs back. And we've got another plus one. So let's force the monarchy down just a little bit more. And that was successful. We've got no actions so now for our next turn. So Austria is going to advance. Prussia is going to advance. Despotism is going to get a plus one here. And disorder is going to happen in Paris. So we're going to put out the fire in Paris and fight Prussia. So the object of the game is basically to keep these guys out of Paris. Um, if they get into there, I can't remember, for like two turns, basically you lose the game. It's a very difficult game to beat because... Um, I'm not sure if I've ever won a game, but I really enjoy the historical flavor of it and the feel of the approaching armies from the different directions and trying to make the decisions of which one is the best one to attack. 
So we got two actions left. We'll fight Britain. We'll do a sea battle here. And we failed on that one. We'll try the same attack again. I failed on that one. So no actions. We're going to draw a new card. We'll get two actions again. So borrowing from the American and English sources, the French Bill of Rights is declared and no formal constitution is written uh, and property is named inviolate and sacred. So, monarchy is minus one, despotism minus one, and republic is plus one. So this is sort of good news for us because we're already at our max. We've got two action points, but there really isn't too much for us to do. Now this is bad news in the sense that that would be a good card to have later on when I need it, but now I'm kind of stuck. Um, I really don't have anything to do, um, which I've actually never had happen in this game. So uh, we're going to advance the next card. Oh, we'll fight Britain again. Did not go well. Okay, Vindy is advancing. Monarchy plus one, despotism plus one, and we're getting disorder again. So we've got two actions. Put out that. Storming of the Bastille. So Piedmont, Vindy advance plus one, despotism is plus one, Republic is plus one, and disorder. We've got three actions to do all that. So I'm going to try to calm the disorder in Paris. Vindy are getting kind of close. So we'll push them back a bit. And I'm always nervous when Prussia or Britain advances. I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, they seem like they could historically be dangerous. So I always like keeping them back. So we have a Liberation Army, level 2. Um, liberation Armies can be placed in a, a circular um, area here. See, they're here, and they can be placed in a circular area in front of an advancing army. You cannot put them in the square spaces. So if an army is in the, the round space here, and you want to put it there, you can't do that. So you just click on them, and you drag them to the circular space. But I'm going to protect against... Um, Britain. I don't know if we go there. So it does take an action point to do that. You did see that drop. So now we've got these guys defending that spot for us. So let's push. Uh, Austria is advancing, Prussia, Vendi, the Republic gets plus one, we're at plus four, so it's not going to really help us any, but we do get disorder. And that's kind of what I was telling you about earlier, is, but all you have to do is be ahead here, it doesn't really matter how many you are. Um, so you notice we have a plus one die roll modifier on military actions, so I want to do that. Let's see how the two change to a three. Fourth change to a five. Oh. Those guys always sneak up on me. So plus one to Austria, Vindy, and Prussia. And plus one to the Republic. We're still at plus four. And you notice we do not have a die roll modifier here.
Okay, we just got a plus two on our die roll modifier. The uh, monarchy is minus one, the republic is plus one, Britain is plus one, and the Vendee is plus one. You can attack the same army twice if you want to, but... Plus one to Vendee, plus one to Piedmont, Monarchy plus one, Despotism plus one, Republic plus one. Man, not doing good. But generally speaking, uh, the beginning of the game is very easy. It's a lot of back and forth. But these guys get closer and you're fighting fires left and right. Uh, you're fighting the advancing armies. They get closer and closer here. It gets more and more difficult to, um, to fight all the armies at the same time. Um, they're, in the actual game, there's three decks. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but it's similar to, you know, it's an early deck, a mid deck, and a late deck. And as you get later in the game, um, the later cards are, are much more difficult. It's a really good game. It's like five bucks, so you can't beat that. And uh, it's kind of nice, the historical flavor. I really like the cards and, and things like that. Um, and it does a great job of keeping track of the die roll modifier as far as where you can see on the screen exactly what's going on here. Um, so I hope you pick up the game and enjoy.